Well. And so when we push the clutch in, it will push on that little button there. Hopefully this works. Yeah, I think there was blood spray on the wall. <laughs> First more major repair. We're up kind of in the middle of nowhere in the mountains, but there happens to be this little town and our uh, our voltage was dropping. We were down to like 12.7 and we were getting a little worried if we were gonna make it to uh, the next major town for a part store, but then we roll by and see O'Reilly's up here in the mountains. So that was pretty cool and we picked up a new alternator and we're gonna swap it out and hopefully we'll have better charging. Yeah, that looks gross. So you said the bolt just broke off the back. The bolt snapped and it looks like it's all... Gummy and gross. Yeah, I don't know what... Is it like seeping something out? I don't know. That's really weird. It's bad. Well, I guess we can't really get it tested now that it's broke, so... Okay, alternator's back in, all hooked up. Autumn's getting the battery hooked up. 
Joe and Jason have been waiting, making sure we're all good. So that was super nice of them. Thankfully there was this O'Reilly's up here in the middle of nowhere. We actually had to run back in and get a wire brush to clean off the cable and a ratchet strap for the trailer that apparently fell off. <laughs> so I think hopefully we'll have charging now. Key on. We've got 12.5. Okay, today we are going to try to add a two-step switch to run at Pueblo. Then, at World Performance, I actually had this little switch that uh, kind of perfectly mounted in the clutch pedal stopper spot. And so when we push the clutch in, it will push on that little button there. And then that'll activate the two-step when we hook up this wire to the holly. So I'll ground this one and then we'll hook this one up to the holly. And then I'll go in to the settings and set up the two-step. And so as soon as Autumn lets off the clutch, it'll deactivate the two-step. And so it should make it a lot easier for her to stage and just hold it at a consistent RPM instead of trying to feather the throttle pedal at a certain spot and watch the tack and watch the tree lights and so she can just hold it full throttle and then as soon as she lets off the clutch it'll go wide open throttle from like 4500 or so when she launches so hopefully this works we just did a two-step test and we didn't videotape it which i'm really sad we'll do one later <laughs> we did the two-step test and the two-step kind of worked and then well it didn't work at first because what happened was, this is a little itty bitty button back here, and so the clutch pedal was going down and actually like kind of coming off the e edges of it and not pushing the button down. So uh, we zip tied the original rubber mount that came off the floor to the clutch pedal so it's a little bit wider. So we can hit it if the clutch pedal goes side to side a little bit. So now we have two steps. Good luck. Love you. Love you. Autumn's first pass of the day.
1327. That's faster. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, it is. All right, so here is class number one at Pueblo. That was a wheelie, guys. That was wild. I have never wheelied a car before. That was crazy. I have never used two-step before either, so this is my first time trying to use two-step. And I will say, I did get into the two-step for 0.7 seconds. I was at 4,500 RPM, like I should have been when I launched. Um, but I wasn't 100% throttle. I think I actually probably got out of two-step, lifted my clutch pedal a little bit. And so when I launched, I was around 5,600 RPM. And I only dropped to 1,400 um, once I got going. I also grabbed fourth gear, probably shouldn't have done that, but I was nervous, but all of the shifts were, wow, <laughs> I shifted at 6,700 RPM on both of, both one and two, that's wild. Alright, so we will adjust some, the suspension a little bit and then try again. To remember when you get up there. Yeah. You feel like everyone's waiting on you. No, you're doing awesome. I can just go fast. I'm good at that. It's just getting all the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. Take time. At least he's patient. He's nice. Everybody uh everybody starts, you know, has a has a first drag racing at some point. Yeah. And most of them probably aren't stick shift their first time. That's true. Ready for pass number two? Yeah. Pueblo? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go faster. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. It's all right. Heck yeah. Run it out through third gear? Yeah. Okay. Third gear and put it in gear for my burnout. Yeah. That helps. You'll do great. Nice job. That was your yeah, fastest was mile an hour. Yeah, that's true. 1331. So my six, it was in the 60 foot, but I lost it. What was your 60 foot? 2.05. 205. So I went up a little bit in the 60 foot. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. All right, so second pass at Pueblo, two step didn't happen. I still need to get that figured out. But I did only go to third gear like we were planning. Uh, shifted at 6,700 RPM, 6,800 RPM there. Um, overall, I think it launched a lot better. There was no wheelie, but still need to get that two-step figured out. We dropped down to 1,300 RPM on that launch. So, see if I can get it figured out. <laughs> oh, awesome. oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> ride it out, ride it out. Swimmer, 
That is the best thing I've seen all week. step figured out so hopefully um, at Great Bend tomorrow on our final track I might get that figured out. Um, towards the end of this pass the car felt a little squirrely so you can see where my throttle was on and off and on and off. I'm not sure if I was just in a bad spot on the track or if it was all in my head but interestingly even being off the pedal like that still finished a 13.3 like my previous pass so Something was weird. Maybe I was tired. I don't know. So on to Great Bend, our final track tomorrow, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So we are just leaving Pueblo. We just walked out of our hotel room. Uh, we had been warned that Pueblo was kind of not a very nice city. And uh, yeah, the first hotel room we got here, this, this is the La Quinta. It had good reviews. A lot of other people stayed here. First room was obviously a smoker's room. Um, but it's a non-smoking room, but it was heavily smoked in. So they put us in another room. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was probably one of the worst I've ever stayed in. How about you? Does that work? Is that pretty bad? It's not bad if you don't open your eyes. Yeah. I think there was blood spray on the wall. <laughs> we found it the following morning uh, on the underside of the bathroom in the wall on the wall but good news is the crazy is still here and the wheels are still here and it doesn't look like anything's been messed with so that's the important thing let's get back to uh to kansas okay, so we're back on the road and we're following joe and jason
great bend. Heck yeah! You did it. We did it. 1,300 miles. We did it. That's amazing. And we did it. Such a good girl. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> what a trip. Man. It's like 9,500 right now. It's hot.